Hey, good morning and welcome to my channel. Well, it is a chilly morning this morning. I'm gonna have to put uh, gloves on because it is fall. We are in October and it's pretty darn cold. I think it's like four degrees Celsius this morning. So I'll put below what that is in Fahrenheit. Well, this morning I'm out here at a field uh, to try out another new drone. I believe this one is what is under $100 US, I believe. And I, there might even be coupons, but I never know. So this drone has GPS. It is a very odd looking drone and it looks like this. <laughs> this is it. it. Looks like something I'm gonna go like and beat the eggs with or something like that in, I don't know, whatever. So it unfolds, it's a GPS drone, has like a 300 meter range, but for the video, the video is only like, um, I think the video is only like 100, 100 meters. So you could turn the video on, fly out 300 meters, but the video signal you'll get back to your phone is only good for about 100 meters and then that's it. Uh, other than that, it seems like a pretty good drone. I think it has follow me and orbit and some of those other things. I'm gonna check it out right now. It'll be the first time I fly it. Field's a little wet, but uh, here we go. All right, so here we have the drone here. That's the power button and the battery's in it. The camera's over here. It's a 1080p camera. And this is how it unfolds. It goes away out like this. And it lo has a locking system, so you can't fold back unless you unlock it. And then you flip it upside down and you put it down like this. And there you go. That's how it flies, like this. Pretty weird, eh? I don't know, I think it'd be look pretty cool in the air. We'll have to try this out. And this is what the controller looks like that uh, operates this drone. Now, if you don't want to use the controller, you can use your cell phone or you can use the controller and your cell phone. So this drone is called, it's got a weird title like the Mentu and it is a GPS drone. It's got an interesting little software app that comes with it. I can see out my camera right now. Uh, since it's a GPS drone and since it's not like a DJI or Unique or whatever Autel product, it does get the GPS, but it needs a really open field like I am out here. And uh, then it gets it faster. If you have a lot of trees around, it takes a while. So we'll see if it's got the GPS now. So now a quick compass calibration for this thing. Once, twice, three times like that, and then like this. Once, twice, I don't know if it's twice, three times, I can be confused. Three times, I think that's Close enough. All right, let's see what it does. I'm going to turn the camera on. So here's my little drone hovering. That's pretty stable. Now, it seems to fly well. I'm having a problem with the app. Let me just try the app again, because my app kept shutting down. It could be my phone. I'll just see if I can connect it while in flight here. Yeah, 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 I'm connecting the app. Quiet. Internet may not be available. All right, let's try that. Hey, God, guy, I'm trying to get the app going here. Uh, good thing you say stable start all right i got it going there we go so let's put turn the camera on for some reason my phone didn't like the app i don't know what it was so here we go take your way up how does the video signal look like hey the props are in it i've got the camera pointing forward that is it i will admit that is one hell of a cool looking drone all right here, let, here let's look at me i'll go stand over here in the sun there we go. How's that look? How do I? There, bring you up. How does that? Doesn't that look menacing? Watch, I'll bring it towards me. Dun 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 dun. Kind of like menacing looking. It looks very robotic. Like this is weird. Okay, so let me show you what this thing could do. So you've got the camera image. You can see what that does already. It does have return to home. Let's see. So I'm gonna go next into follow me. Follow me just says it's supposed to. Where the hell's it going? Oh, now that is the wickedest thing I've ever seen. I thought it was taken off on me. It goes a certain distance away when I put it in follow me. It faces the camera towards me. I don't know how it did that. And uh, it's following me. Check this out. Can my voice go any higher? That is pretty cool. All right. Okay, I'm somewhat impressed with that. That's pretty neat. But it does go backwards. If I run at it, what happens? Is it going to freak out? <laughs> I'm catching up to you. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> well, I learned my lesson. Don't run at these things. They can't move away fast enough. I'm in the low speed too. There are different speeds on here. I think this is the speed. Yeah, there we go. So now I should be able to go faster. There we go. That would be the fastest speed for this thing. Not that fast. But for a beginner, that's probably good. Let me just put it back to normal speed. Oh, hang on. It went three times. Does that go faster? 
Ah, oh, here we go. Now, now we see what we're doing. Whoa, okay. That's pretty cool. Let me just bring it up because it's... Now we got something happening here. There we go. So on my screen, hopefully you can see this, right here is on your top left is a button. The big yellow thing is to put it back to normal. That's to use your joysticks. Then this one over here is your waypoint. And this one over here is follow me. And the last one is orbit, which it doesn't seem to be working on. Let's try orbit. Does it do anything? Come on, I'm down here someplace. There I am. Okay, you gotta find the blue dot. That's me, the blue dot. And then I guess I have to tell it, see there's a little orbit button here? I don't know if you can see that. This is the way I think it works. Okay, so I put that in the center, hit the orbit button, touch there. I want it to orbit me, upload it. So it should orbit, well, right where I am. Is it gonna work? Spinning around. So I told it to be right beside around me. So let's see what it does. Oh, and then I have to hit a joystick. There we go. To tell it which direction to go. So I hit this joystick, it should go in a direction. There we go. And now it's making a bunch of beepy sounds that I do not understand, but it is orbiting. It's moving slowly. If I click back on the image, I can see I'm slowly orbiting. So that's designed on this thing here that I would fly this thing on the map. If I look at my map here, I'll just expand back out. I would pick up a spot on the map, put the little orbit on it. It would fly to it and orbit around that object. Let me try the return to home with the little bit of power I have left. Oh, I'm going to hit the return to home and see what happens. Here we go. Return to home. Look at that. It's coming back. Where are you going to land? Return to home. Are you going to be really good and land back on the little pad? Come on back. Where are you going to go? I'm just sitting here waiting. <laughs> it's over the pad. Are you going to come down? Yep. That has got to be the slowest descent I've ever seen in a drone. And it stops there. Is it going to go to the bottom? It has no sensors underneath. And it's going to chop the grass. And it chopped the grass. There we go. All right, I got a little bit of battery power left. I'm going to take it up again. I've changed the camera on here. It's going to keep beeping at me. Let me just put it. Now I've got the camera pointing down. This is what it should look like. So this is a little bit better. All right, let's try the last feature on here. So that beeping is, in fact, the battery. Oh no, it's coming down again. All right, folks, this battery is supposed to last 12 minutes of flight time, but it's freaking cold out here. I got about seven minutes of flight time to show you stuff. So had it been warmer weather or I kept the battery warm, it would probably have flown closer to 12 minutes. All right, a lot of people ask me if you can fly these drones indoors. Here we go. Like there's no sensors on the bottom of this thing. Here, if I bring it up, no sensors whatsoever, but you can fly it indoors. See, I've got the controller up here. Without having sensors, it's not going to be that stable, but it's stable enough to fly indoors. Like I can fly it here and send it down. There we go. Maneuver it through there. <laughs> I'll bring it back. I don't know if you can see that. Come through the doors nicely. So if you want to fly these indoors, you can. Say it's too cold outside, like me. You can just fly them around in the house. They do have prop guards, so I'm sure if I bang into the wall, let me just try it. I'm gonna bang into the wall here. I'll just move it. I'll let it drift into the wall. Yeah, can't do any damage. It's just sitting on the wall. So they're perfect for indoors. And of course, to land, there's a one, uh, one button land here. Check out the bottom of the drone for night glory. You notice night is spelt like night, night in shining armor. That's interesting because the box calls it the X-Drone. The website where this is sold is called the M995. I don't know what the name is, so I'm just gonna call it, well, I'll call it the X-Drone for now since that's what the box says. Really good drone, love the fact that it unfolds. Look at how large it gets when it unfolds. Pretty decent. Now, it is a drone for under $100 US. Now, you know that in today's day and age, if you can get a drone for under $100 US, you know that there's certain features it's gonna have and certain features it won't have. So last year, in the year 2017, for a drone for under $100 US, you were lucky if it got off the ground and flew, and flew straight. This year in 2018, for $100 US, for under $100 US, 
you get a friggin' drone that has GPS in it, a 1080p camera, uh, a 300 meter flight range, follow me, waypoints, orbit mode. So you really can't complain. Now, if you live in a climate like I am right now in Canada, where it's pretty cold because it is fall, you're gonna have to get yourself two batteries because this was supposed to give me 12 minutes of flight time, but it's too cold for the LiPo battery and LiPos don't like cold. So uh, the flight time was massively reduced. I didn't get to show you everything. I miss showing you the waypoints. The waypoints on this drone are basically, you would just have a GPS screen of your area. You tap around where you're standing, you put waypoints. You can pick different heights for each waypoint if you want. And then you hit upload and that sends it to the drone and the drone will actually fly those waypoints. So it's pretty cool. It's sort of like when you saw me do the orbit mode, I just picked a waypoint more or less. It goes to that point and then it does an orbit. And that's basically what waypoints do, which for a drone under $100 is pretty decent. Now, for under $100 with a 1080p camera, there is a micro SD card slot in here. I did record direct to a micro SD card slot, but the video quality, for my opinion, was okay. It wasn't that great for 1080p. It looked like a drone for under $100 US 1080p. You gotta remember, you're getting all this, so they have to cut corners someplace. So all in all, good drone for the price under $100 US it's a pretty decent price. And if there's a coupon for this drone, I will put it below because right now I don't know if there's a coupon. When this video is published, there may be a coupon and it will show up below. So check it out and uh, see if it's the drone for you. I would say for a Christmas gift for somebody, this drone is pretty cool because it's so different looking. And I love the way it looked when it was flying through the sky. It looked pretty cool. <laughs> And now a super quick unboxing of the GPS X drone with an HD camera, 1080p. Let's check out what's in the box. Here we have the manual and the manual for the app. Here we have the drone, the controller and the battery. It looks like here there's a cutout for two more batteries. So it looks like you could get this drone with a total of three batteries. Here we have the drone right here. Here's what's written on the bottom. I'm not sure why it says for night glory power button right there. Spin it around. There's your camera. You can move the camera so you can change the angle of it. And uh, look at the top. It's like a really cool puzzle shape. It's all like that. Now watch, I'll just pull it apart. And you can see that when you pull it apart, you get this massive drone. Now we're looking at the bottom of the drone here. So let me just show you a little bit about it. This here is the whole camera unit that's right here. And if I spin it around this way, you can see right there is a micro SD card slot right there, which is nice. So that means you get the video image right from the camera to the micro SD. So no loss of quality. It's supposed to be 1080p, so it should be pretty good. The drone flies this way. So it has the right on the top and it flies like this. Pretty large drone when uh, it's all unfolded. And to fold it back up, these arms are locked. You have to pull this and then flick that up. Next, we have the battery for the drone. It's a 1200 milliamp, 7.4 volt battery. Here's the drone, battery in the drone. How much does it weigh? It weighs a total of 288 grams. Next, we have the controller itself. It has the one button takeoff and the one button land, plus the return to home because it does have GPS. Little antennas here. These antennas would not do anything. I can already tell just by looking at them. They are for show. And on the front, we have two buttons, button, button. And on the back is where you'll put the batteries. There you go. So it takes four AA batteries total. Not included. Also included in the box would be four spare props, USB charging system for the battery, and a very small Phillips screwdriver. To me it's a thumbs up drone. I like it for the price. Thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, then you give this video a thumbs up too. I'd really appreciate that. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.